Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I mean, Slathwaite, Slough it. <laughs> I like to have a look around Slough it. It's oldie worldy. And uh, you know, I like looking at all things. And I hope you do too, because you've got me to look at. <laughs> now, Slough it used to be known as the Harrogate of the Cone Valley. And I'm going to tell you why. So in the early 1800s, amidst spa mania in Britain, Slathwaite discovered its own mineral springs thanks to some uh, keen-eyed engineers. Now Richard Varley, a prominent corn merchant, seized the opportunity to change his home village into a renowned spa destination. And so I'm walking along right by the canal here, Huddersfield Narrow Canal, and uh, this area here is where Richard Varley built his spa complex. And it's hard to picture right now because it's, it's just a field. I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen for you how it actually looked back in the day. And we're gonna take a little look around and see whether we can see anything that's left of it really, because I can't see any of it. And it's really, it's really hard to picture. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and stand at pretty much the place where I think one of these pictures was taken uh, and, uh, and see if we can uh, piece it together. I can see in this area where I'm walking right now, how it used to be a bit of a pleasure ground. Yeah, I'll just spin you around. You can see the sort of walls and stuff like that. Just, uh, you can just make them out. And you can see that, yeah, it was like uh, one of the classic uh, pleasure grounds to walk around. And I've worked out by going up top there. You can see how steep it is up there. I had to go up top and look right down and compare to some of these old pictures. And in this old picture, you can see the viaduct in the background. And so, and so I've worked out <laughs> exactly the angle and where the buildings were. So let's go over and have a look because it all looks so much different now. It's just a field and hard to believe. I'll put some more pictures up just to uh, give you an idea. And if you can imagine all the Victorian elite arriving in uh, horse-drawn carriages and uh, just coming to uh, enjoy the healing qualities of the springs at, uh, at Slough it. Amazing really to think that this area was exactly that. Uh, really famous area, people come from miles around just to enjoy the day. There's a picture here of, uh, of it packed out and that picture must have been taken from up, up above there. So yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to see it, hard to see it right now and that's why I wanted to, to come here and I'm, I'm glad that you've come with me otherwise I would be all by myself. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you over here and show you exactly where the main building was. And in there was a swimming pool and they did uh, roller skating. Here's a picture of, uh, of a team of roller skaters. They did uh, roller skating lessons. And if you look carefully, they've all got the roller skates on. So it seems that the, uh, the main building was on some land just over here, like an island in between the River Cone and the canal. And I don't know whether I can actually go over there. I'll just stick the camera through here and I'll show you if I can. Uh, you probably can't see through there, no. <laughs> right, here's a, a clearer part where you can see, see what I mean. Across there, there's a bit of an island. You can see them yellow things. They're actually uh, snow plows. The front of the, uh, the snow plow. I don't know whether I can go over there. I'm gonna have a, have a look though. I'm sure it'll be private, but I might be able to have a little wander around. And that's where that main building was, just over there on that island. So apparently there was uh, quite an ornate wooden bridge that went across to this island to connect the two parts of the spa complex. Uh, that wooden bridge was washed away by flood water. I think this will be the replacement bridge here. We'll go across there and see if I can get onto this island where the uh, main building was. Actually closed right now, so I'm looking for a way into this uh, island. I can't see one. Uh, you can see the island is actually just there 
and the river cone is here and the canal is over the other side. So it just splits the canal and the river and that's where that main building was. I've tried to just get on it, just have a little look around, see if I could see anything that's left of them buildings, but I can't get on, it's all locked up. It was the iron and sulfur rich waters that had people coming from miles around with ailments to cure, ailments like gout and uh, rheumatism. It's still a nice place to walk around if you come to Slawit, Slawit Spa. It's still called that, but it's a playing field now and some swings over at the other side. Nothing like it used to be. This used to have a dance hall and there would be tea parties absolutely packed with the Victorian elite. And I wonder sometimes these people over there on the swings whether they actually realise what it used to be. All of this was happening in the Victorian era, of course. By the 19th century, despite its early popularity, it began to wane and um, the uh, spa was closed down in uh, 1938, uh, the end of an era. There are some plaques around Slawit uh, Spa Park to remind people and inform them of how the area used to be. And there is a valley road further up, just coming out of Slathwaite. And that's of course a memorial to Richard Valley, who was the creator of this fantastic uh, spa complex. So that's about it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. We've had a little look into Slathwaite, Slawit's more glamorous past. Um, I don't know where I'll be next time, but what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.